You asked him how good it felt for him to get back in there and get a win after obviously a tough loss in April. Me dice cómo te sentiste, qué 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 feliz te sentiste ganando una pelea después de viniendo de una derrota. Me siento muy contento, más que todo agradecido con Dios por por darme la confianza y mis entrenadores que que me la brindan. Eso yo creo que es el equilibrio que que hay en este equipo. He says I feel first of all so happy that God gave me the victory and happy for my coaches that still believe in me after such a terrible loss in the last fight that he didn't listen. Did, um, obviously, he did more listening tonight and, and fight a, a lower level of opponent. But how good did he feel, you know, getting his rhythm back, maybe get some of his confidence back after something like that? He said that you did well today, but it seems that you heard more. How do you feel? Even though the level was not the same as the Russo, but you did the case and you were able to get in the ring. How do you feel doing the case? I felt comfortable because I heard the instructions of my trainers this time. Yo creo que la última derrota fue justamente por, por ese error. Eh, yo no hice caso y ahora que hice caso está volviendo de nuevo todo a, a la normalidad. Y de aquí para adelante vamos he, a seguir. He said, uh, even though he, it was a lower level of opposition, but he said this time he did listen to the corner. And he felt that that was the difference today. He listened to the corner, he was more relaxed. Instead, the first fight, the, the last fight on ESPN, uh, the TVs and everything riled him up a little and uh, he shot everything in four rounds. Mm -hmm. um, did, did he feel like he was he was hitting him with some good right hands and the guy was moving straight back and he was hitting him with those right hands and especially early in the fight? Did he feel like he was going to get him out early and, and how happy was he to eventually get the knockout? He said that you, in the first assault, you hit him with some right hands, but the guy continued coming. Did you think he was going to stop, obviously, in the last assault or not? I really don't think I'm waiting for anyone. I just try to win the assaults and the knockout came just because I was patient. He says uh, he never looks for the knockout, even though he was landing clean right hands. He said he never looks for the knockout, but if he lands a clean shot, he knows he's got power. So he just remained calm and continued doing his work. Um, how ready is he for for another, you know, opponent similar to the guy he fought in the guy? He says, how do you feel that when you're ready to be ready to be ready to present yourself with the last one? How much time do you need to do that again? I'm ready. Estoy ready. Solamente fue un desliz lo que pasó. He says I'm ready now. I'm ready now. It's just I didn't listen the last fight. He goes I'm ready to jump right into the next fight with a good guy, and if I listen, I'll be all right. Okay. Um, how eager is he for that to happen after what happened on national TV? It was the biggest fight of his career. Él dice que cómo está, qué ansioso está para que eso pase otra vez. Pelear con uno. Estoy muy ansioso. Fíjate que eso no pasó mucho tiempo en la última pelea y he vuelto. Y yo ni bien pasó lo la derrota. Yo no me tomé el descanso y seguí entrenando. He says he's, he's just so motivated. After the loss, he went right back into the gym and and he, he wants it because he feels that if he listens, he, he can beat the better opposition. So he says he's ready now. As long as he listens, he feels he can beat the better opposition. Es cuestión de de seguir trabajando y de hacer caso a a los entrenadores. Es solamente eso. Desde ahí para adelante, si Dios quiere, vamos a ir con victoria. He says it's just a question of listening to the corner that has the experience, and uh, that's all it is. It's just listening. If he would have listened in his last fight, he felt, uh, obviously, as you know, the two judges had my cello winning up until right, that right. point, but just didn't listen, and you can't do it by yourself in this game. Okay. How happy does he think the people back in Peru are today? And he says that how the people in Peru are going to be celebrating, that the people in the barracks who won knockout here in a big stage, that if the people are happy with you in your country. I hope that yes, my country, I always represent with my colors, black and white, and I hope that they will be supporting me, although they are not always present in my fights, but I know that they are supporting me with their heart. He says he believes that they are happy as long as they can be, as long as they can be, as long as they can be, as long as they can be. He says he believes that they're happy as, as, as can be. Uh, he says he always represents his country, and his country, even after the loss, Keith, in his yeah. Facebook, he had thousands yeah. of, of uh, you know, you're going to still do it, champ. We're 100%. And I think we're going to go back in October on national TV in Peru after this win. And those are the plans that Nelson has uh, to bounce back on national TV in Peru after this win. Okay, do you know the date or not? Uh, no, we're looking at October 12th, I believe. Yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. that's a Saturday. Yeah. yeah, it's a Saturday, October 12th on national TV channel 4. My most grande motivation is to represent my family, my name is Roman, my sangre, my sangre is my family, and my whole race, all my country. He says his greatest uh, inspiration is his country, his son, and, and, and his family. So he, he continues to fight for them, and he, he's happy that the people in Peru still support him.
100. percent Can you just tell me real quick what you thought of his performance as well? I thought it. I thought it was good, Keith. I thought he was a little tentative. I, mm-hmm. I wanted him to finish off a little more, but I understand after coming in, this kid's never lost anything. He was an mm-hmm. MMA champ, and mm-hmm. this was a huge loss. I mean, I took him to my house, and we saw the fight ten times. <laughs> and uh, it was just. Uh, I thought he was a little tentative. I, I thought this could have happened a lot earlier, but I ain't pushing on him. Because, only because of what happened in the last fight. I wanted to get this win and boost him back up. You know, boxing is 80% mental. So. Right. Right. Quiero agradecer eh, de corazón a Gaby Show, a Nelson Fernández, mi manager, que ahorita está trabajando. Él está, él y yo queríamos que viniera, pero el trabajo yo, yo, para mí es muy importante para él también. Y quiero agradecerle a, a Gaby Show, Nelson Fernández, mi manager, a Bush, que está aquí. Bush. Mm-hmm. Ping, que está por ahí comiendo, mm-hmm. y, y, a, y a Ugas, mi, 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 mi partner, que siempre anda conmigo, y a Alex, que, que, que siempre nos se presta el gimnasio para trabajar. Ellos son, nuestra, son una familia unida. Sí, él quiere agradecer a Gary Shaw, Nelson Fernández, uh, myself, Ping, Ugas, que es su teammate y su roommate, y por supuesto Alex, que es parte de mi equipo por un largo tiempo. Espero que nos busquemos más rápido, y yo voy a traer a Alex un poco más cuando el tiempo se va a pasar. Estamos todavía en el Oregon, pero yo creo que es un poco más rápido. Sí, estamos en el Oregon, y ambos de ellos, él y Ugas, y Alex. Un beso para mi hijo, Yalim. Y un beso para mi hijo, Yalim. Mi hijo, Yalim. ¿Cuánto es su hijo? Su hijo es tres. Él es el heredero del trono. Está. 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 Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Nice man. Yeah. One other thing. Um, Do you speak Spanish? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Um, they have you on a 30-day medical suspension uh, for your, your right hand. Uh, what round did you hurt it in? And they say that the medical te suspendió por 30 días porque te lastimaste la mano. ¿En qué asalto fue que te lastimaste la mano? Um, um, yo creo que fue en el Third round. Third round. By the third round, he felt when he yeah. punched the guy, he felt a little, a little sting to him. That's why he started jabbing a lot more. Like, as you notice, he started jabbing a lot more. Um, but um, by the last round, you, you fought through it, and uh, you know you, you still took him out with the same hand. It, were you surprised? He says because the pain is mental and he took that out and he just shot everything with the right hand. Right. He had to give it his all or nothing. All right, well, good performance. Hey, and, uh, okay, muy, muy bien que tú hiciste. Muchas gracias. He says thank you very much. With God, everything is possible.